Uh, okay, American Homebrew Association, Great American Beer Festival, Diamond Tea Magazine, all these great things you've done. The joy of homebrewing, complete homebrewing uh, companion, all this stuff. But you also started American Pie Day. National Pie Day. National Pie Day. Pie Day. Yeah, right. D-I-E, National Pie Day. Uh, so what's the story behind that? Why, why, why do we have a National Pie Day now? Well, part of my life, for eight years, I was a kindergarten through fourth grade teacher. And when I was teaching kids, I used to tell them on my birthday that it was Pie Day, National Pie Day. That, you know, in order to celebrate National Pie Day, it would be a great idea for their moms to make a pie and bring it to school for their teacher. And sure enough, it worked. So I got <laughs> lots of great pies, and my friends kidded me about it, but I made, always made a big deal out of it. Then I submitted uh, to Chase's calendar of events, a, public, a media publication that went out to media all over the country. Uh, days of, of that should be recognized, and I said, National Pie Day is January 23rd, which is my birthday, and it caught on. I got interviewed from all, I got calls from all over the world on my birthday. <laughs> People love pie. Well, yes, they do, and uh, whew. And now it is uh, gone way beyond just uh, a fun thing that we used to do. We used to actually had pie competitions, which were designed. The judging was designed after our. You're judging oh, really? score sheets, oh, really? you know, yeah. aroma, appearance, mouthfeel, all that balance. Uh, and we, we had the great American Pie Festival in Boulder, Colorado for two or three times. Uh, GAPF. GAPF. And it was very well attended. Uh, and it morphed into its own thing. I got out of the organizational thing for pie because it gets to be too much for me. Um, but now it's National Pie Day, and there's a, a national bake-off every year on my birthday in Florida, the Crisco Pie Bake-Off. It's amazing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it was either homebrew or pie. You had a, you came yes. to a crossroad. He yeah, said, I can't do both. Yeah, so. yeah, you know, actually, judging pie is a lot more difficult than judging beer. Than judging beer because the hangover, at least the hangover I get from all that sugar was Harder to get over than yeah. judging me, <laughs> judging <laughs> alcohol. Well, yeah, it's a lot of pie, right? It's a lot of pie. And my girlfriend Carla wanted me to ask you: Did you ever make a pie using beer in the pie recipe? Um, you know, a little bit. You know, instead of using water for the pie crust or any liquid that you might put in, put barley wine for for, for pie crust. Yeah, yeah pie, you know, a little yeah. bit of pie crust, cold, cold barley wine, and uh, the other thing is. Some beers styles go really well, good with a slice of pie. Sure. Like a, a triple or a barley wine with dessert, you know, a piece of apple pie and barley wine is one of my favorites. That's so, so awesome. Now, have you ever actually made a beer using pie? Like throwing a slice of pie into the mash? I have not, but I know brewers who have. Yeah. Who knew about my national pie yeah, beer. They did a pie beer? Yeah. yeah. yeah Bob, <laughs> our, our Bobby has a pie beer that, that he made, a pecan pie beer. Yeah. 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 No, it's the crust is made out of wheat, right? Fruit, spices, starch, it's all there. It's great. It's, it's liquid, liquid food. It's like beer in a slice. Anyway, Charlie, thank you very much. Uh, looking forward to the swap tonight. All right. And, uh, great to be here at Bitter and Esther's. Relax, don't worry, have a slice of pie. And a beer. And a beer. And a homebrew. <laughs>